I'm Rob from Hobzing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video of beer review. And this is the first for me. I've never had a bottle of beer from uh, Nils Oscar Company. Weirdly, not brewery or brewing company or whatever. Anyway, so it's the Nils Oscar Rock Porter. I'm, I don't speak Swedish, so my pronunciation of that might not be perfect. I'm from Yorkshire. As Terry Kay says, my pronunciation is of beers, of foreign beer names is appalling anyway, so it's 5.9% ABV. Ray Beer says it's a, it's a smoke beer, so maybe a smoke porter. Yeah, 5.9, nice cap on it actually. I'm not one for caps, but it's really nicely done that. Yeah, I'm not one to show caps in all that business, but it's just got the branding on there. Very nice. So I picked this up at Beer It's the other night, I went to um, check out the um, cheese and beer tasting that we're doing. Uh, my, a friend of mine, Lee, who writes uh, the good stuff, one of the best bloggers around he is. And he's not only just a lovely chap and a friend, but he's, he's a fantastic blogger, he's Lee, so check out Lee's blog, The Good Stuff. So the beer in the glass, really, really dark ruby, maybe kind of like, yeah, it is ruby, virgin on kind of super dark crimson. Um, not much of a head, it kind of dissipated quite quickly, leaving some legs on the glass, so there might be a bit of residual sugar there. Anyway, let's have a sniff. Oh, yes, definitely, definitely a smoke beer. It's got that kind of dryness you get from a smoke beer. Not too much of the kind of peat, that kind of uh, peated malt and like TCB. There is a hint of it, not too much though. Yeah, a bit more like the um, the rind of that kind of cheap smoked cheese that you find in supermarkets. And kind of like more of a charcoal kind of aroma. It smells nice. It smells like a really nicely done smoked beer. Anyway, I'm looking forward to this, so cheers. Not much body. It is a porter after all. Nice roast, roasted malt flavour. It's gonna, for me, um, like more like black malt. It's not trying to bring in um, chocolatey flavours. It's more of a, a like an acrid kind of bitter malt. It tastes black <laughs> like that. If if you could taste the colour black, it tastes like that. Definitely kind of earthy and um, quite. Quite like like got a charcoal quality, maybe a bit of licorice in there. Dried fruits. There is a kind of like a uh, like a burnt wood quality in there. The flavors flavors in and out. Just before the end, it all kind of peters off. And then it comes back in a lovely aftertaste. The aftertaste is has got a little bit of coffee on it this time. Maybe a hint of port. Definitely that kind of burnt wood once again. There is a bit of a bit of fizz on your tongue. Doesn't seem it in the body, but there's a bit of fizz on the tongue. Bit of kind of dark caramel there. There is a slight kind of hot bitterness which comes in the flavour of, you know, with a flavour of um, kind of raisins, quite fresh raisins, so like quite juicy raisins. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, raisins. But that kind of combination, the flavour isn't too smoky, but you get a nice waft of that kind of peated malt, smoked malt, rauch malt, on the nose. Very nice, as far as my first experience with uh, Nils Oscar beer, it's a very nice smoked beer. I mean, I'm not kind of jumping up and down about it, but... It's very solid, very enjoyable. I needed something. I've got, I've got to do some cleaning up in the kitchen. Got to do some washing up. Got to, leave, got to listen to podcast and then just have a beer on side and kind of to sip away. I didn't want anything too strong. And this is really going to do that job. It really is not too complex, but with a really nice amount of flavour. A kind of beer that I could enjoy, enjoy a couple of pints of in a pub, actually, even as a smoke beer, which isn't everybody's taste. Anyway, so that is. Root, root, root Potter or something maybe. I've told him terrible with foreign, <laughs> foreign names. Pronunciation of foreign names is terrible. But yes, so let's call it Rock Porter from Nils Oscar in Sweden. Five point nine percent ABV. My first first experience with this brewery. Never even had, excuse me, had the God Lager. 
good lager. Um, but this is really, really nice. So I definitely uh, recommend you check this out if you like small beer. If you don't, give it a go because I don't think it's on that extreme extent you get something like a Schlenkeler. Um, but yeah, so I, I really like that. So the question this time, it's all about smoked beers. How much peated malt and smoked kind of malt do you like in a, a smoked beer? Do you like the Schlenkeler? My favourite um, um, smoked beer is the Mickler's uh, Big Eat Bacon. I think that's a lovely beer. I think it's got a really nice balance to it. So what do you think, how much smoked or peated malt can you tolerate? <laughs> anyway. I'm Rob from popzine.com and I'll see you next time. Cheers.